Okay, so today I start the second half of my road trip. So excited. In about two hours, I will be going to pick up Michaela from the airport. For those of you who do not know who Michaela is, she is my best friend since we were five years old. Yes, love you girl, shout out to you. Um, but yeah, she's my best friend. And she's super into traveling just like I am. So I figured like, hey, why not reach out to her and ask her if she wants to meet me in Portland and go to Arizona with me. And of course she's awesome and said, yes, let's do it. So I'm gonna go pick her up and then we have to plan the rest of our road trip because we have nothing planned. Uh, I mean, obviously we start in Portland and then our ending point is gonna be Arizona because that's where I'm from. And then she will spend a few days there and fly home. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, it is just a little bit after 10 and Mikhail's flight comes in at 11. It'll take me about 15 minutes to get to the airport, maybe a little longer. It's a Sunday, so the traffic shouldn't be too bad. But she had a connecting flight in San Francisco, so I texted her when she landed and I was like, hey, are you hungry? And she said, very. So I'm just making her some fettuccine Alfredo and then there's toast in the oven. This is for me because I'm starving, but about 10 minutes before I leave, I'm gonna make her some, and then I'm gonna go pick her up and fill her stomach, <laughs> head to the Starbucks. I don't know yet, but yeah. Okay, it's time. Let's go get Michaela. All right, I made it to the airport. I am so afraid they're gonna yell at me for parking and waiting, but I don't care. There's a long line anyway, so, oh, I really hope she hurries up. She had to check her bags. There's no room on the, the plane. So it's taking even longer because she has to go to baggage claim and wait for her bag. And I'm like, I don't, I get so nervous and so stressed out over like little things, but I'm not familiar with this airport. So it makes me so nervous. And I don't see her anywhere. <sighs> Come on, Michaela. Yeah, she's here. I'm so excited. Hey! <laughs> I'm so excited you're here. I know. Oh my gosh. Okay, just, yeah, you can just throw yourself in the bag. I was like. Michaela, tell them where we are. Lava Butte. Yes, we are at the magnificent Lava Butte. It's so pretty, but it's so cold. cold. Oh my god. <gasps> I wish I could really capture it. There's like a weird blue tint to it. 
I think you have like a filter on. Okay, what day is it? It's Tuesday, October 2nd. So, I don't know how long I'm going to go now. Okay, so, as you already know, I was in an accident, and then today Michaela and I made it to Watchman Overlook in Crater Lake National Park, and we locked the keys in the car. And I had a spare, but it fell out in the accident. <laughs> so that's our luck. Yes. Luckily there was a nice woman to help <laughs> us and drive us to the lodge. <laughs> the it's gonna be a while before I go on another road trip. The important thing is she survived a crash and we're gonna unlock the car. So, <laughs> I don't know. I kinda locked us out. <laughs> you locked us out. I did not lock You us did. Out. Okay guys, the park ranger <laughs> drove us angel. back here <laughs> and locked the car for us. <sighs> thank God. Yes, thank ah. you. Let's see your flashlight. Wait. This yeah. is so steep. I'm like so afraid I'm gonna fall. Holy crap. Oh my god. I don't want to fall. <laughs> I made it. Okay, this is what we'd like to call lava talk. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Right now, we are in a cave. A very, very small cave. Very right small now. cave. Well, I mean, it's big, but it's like, right now where we're at is super I don't know confined. If my battery's almost dead. So if we die out here, oh my gosh, we could do like a, uh, it's been I love you, mom. So we're at Lava National Monument National Park in Northern California. It's so cool. 10 out of 10. Recommend going to it. Being dusty. Well, no, like when it's like. You can go up on the boardwalk, mm -hmm. but this is. <laughs> and who knows? It's so beautiful. There's probably a lot of similar stories that too. Mm -hmm. I wish good. Even if the you guys floor, can't see me, but we are at the Fly Geyser in Nevada. So I decided to cut my trip a little bit short. I did one week with Michaela and it is the sixth day and we are heading home. Right now we're in Rhyolite, I might have pronounced it wrong, Nevada, and we're about six hours from home, no seven hours. So once she's done here, we are heading for Mesa, Arizona. It's been a fun, long, very eventful trip and it's bittersweet. I'm excited to be going home, but I'm also very sad to say the trip is coming to an end. But next time you see me, I will be home.